Dream, yep, we're gonna eat that up, and we're gonna get a third defense. Oh, they crit me, okay. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Today I'll be continuing my boost to the top series with this team by Dragonair Jordan. It's a really interesting team, they left in my Discord. If you guys want me to use a team that you made, drop it in the Discord Rental Teams channel, I might use it. I don't, like, I don't guarantee I use them. Some people are like, hey, you're gonna get around to my team, and I'm like, maybe. <laughs> I, like, I'll just find a team that I see is interesting and I'll, I'll try it out, but this is a really cool one. I, I want to take it for a spin. It's running Electivire with an Assault Vest. I don't have the EV spreads, unfortunately, but just look cool as a rental. Um, it's got Faint, too, which is a really cool tech in this format. Uh, we have Coaching Faramosa uh, with Icy Wind. We have a Leftovers Finny. We have a Weakness Policy Moltres, Life Orb, Libero Cinderace, and Yachiberry Moongus, which is actually a really cool tech. I'm assuming it's able to live a Max Hailstorm from Opposing Glacier, so that's really cool. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys enjoy this same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video. Let's shoot for 200 likes on today's video. Uh, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're really close to 19,000 subscribers, and from there, we're almost at 20,000. And like I said, guys, at 20K, I will be doing the Reggie Drago cosplay. Because <laughs> for some reason, there are people who want me to dress up like Reggie Drago, and I think that would be hilarious. So I'll do it at 20,000. But yeah. Also, question of the day. Help me help me get into that sweet, sweet YouTube algorithm. Question of the day, what is your favorite Ultra Beast? Personally, I'm a big fan of Kartana and a big fan of Stack Attacka, but Blacephalon sort of takes the cake for me in a lot of situations. I think Blacephalon's a phenomenal Pokemon, uh, but unfortunately, it's only really good at activating Colossal in this format, I think. If you guys have any other ideas for Blacephalon, let me know. Also, the other day, I made a video about Tapu Bulu, and you guys seem to enjoy that. You guys seem to enjoy that. If you guys have any any more like discussion videos you'd want me to like just take a spin at, like any more things you want me to talk about, comment them down below. I'm I'm willing to take ideas, you know. Cause sometimes I for, I, I just like run out of ideas. And then it takes me like a week to come up with something fresh. <laughs> but yeah. Also, uh, I want to get back on top of double uploads. Finals are next week though, so I don't know how easy it'll be to pull that off. Darts VGC rank 609, almost nice. Um, ooh, okay, so Clefable over Clefairy, probably unaware. This is actually a really, really interesting team. Hmm. I think for this matchup, I... Wow, I actually don't know what I do here. I think that my Cinderace isn't a bad lead at all. Uh, I have to be really careful with that Nihil eh, Nihiligo. It could cause me a lot of issues. Um... Moltres is iffy in this matchup. It could be useful. It could be entirely useless. Uh, I'll bring Amoongus in the back, or on lead. Uh, I think I want to bring my... Dang, I really wish this Feromos had Ice Beam and not Icy Wind. That'd be a lot more useful here. We'll bring Moltres, and I think my last Pokemon. I don't know how good Electivire is going to be here. He has a couple of coverage moves that could be useful. Wild Charge, Ice Punch, Faint Stomping Tantrum. I mean, the Assault Vest helps me take on the um, Nihiligo, so that could be useful. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go with it. Why not? Why not? I'm pretty certain they're going to go for a Trick Room mode versus me. I don't really see them going with any other mode. Alright. Also... First time using the face cam in game for a while. Let me make sure it's positioned correctly on screen and that I'm not covering up any important UI. Dragapult Clefable. I don't believe I'm covering up anything too important. Alright. So, because this guy's got a Yachi Berry, the Amoongus, I'm assuming that we're physically defensive. Court change is interesting. Um. I could just start going for max airstreams, to be honest, or even a max steel spike wouldn't be bad. And I can attempt a spore on the Dragapult, assuming that they're just going to redirect it into the Clefable. But I'll Dynamax early. It looks like they're not going to Dynamax because they would have actually outsped me there. And by the way, guys, sorry I'm taking so long to get that Raikou team in-game. Like, I just, it takes a while to get teams in game for me, like, because the Raikou team in particular is really grindy since I need inner focus Raikou. I have to actually, um, 
I have to grind out a whole bunch of max raid adventures so I can get those points for the for the item. There's a dragon dance. Um, I'm glad I went for the max steel spike because that means I should take pretty much anything here. What if it's safety goggles? I'd be terrified. Okay, it's Babiri Berry, so I should be able to uh, KO this thing. And I'm I'm pretty certain they're just gonna have Max Airstream on this guy. If you're running Dragon Dance, I'm assuming your move set is like Dragon Dance, Max Airstream, um, not Max Airstream, uh, Dragon Dance, probably Fly, Dragon Darts, and Phantom Force. If they don't have Phantom, or if they don't have Max Airstream, they're probably just gonna go down here. I think it's in my best interest to go for another Max Steel Spike. And I think I can take it, since I'm at plus one defense and physically defensive, I'll go for the Spore here. If it doesn't work out, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Hopefully I can take it. I'm, I'm pretty certain that a physically defensive Amoongus, I'm assuming it's physically defensive, I haven't looked at the stats. I should have done that beforehand, I'm sorry guys, but I'm assuming this is a pretty physically defensive Amoongus if it's running that particular berry. There's the max guard. Um, I mean, I can live with that, I just get another defense boost. That should make it pretty difficult for him to knock me out. Yeah, I'm at plus two defense. I don't know what they really gained from that is, like, what did they really gain there, actually? They wasted one of my turns of Dynamax, but I still picked up a KO. I got what I needed done. And I still have a very threatening Cinderace on the field. Court Change is interesting tech, though. I think I would have preferred, like, Max Knuckle. But I suppose Court Change is fine. Uh, the Max Steel Spike here is very important in knocking out the Nihiligo. I think I always just go for that. It should KO, uh, barring the Nihiligo being, like, Focus Sash. And they're definitely not Babiri Berry, so... We'll spore the Dragapult here, or I could even protect and feel just as safe. I'll protect here. I'll protect here, because I think they would just double into the uh, Amoongus. There's the Max Airstream. Yep, we're going to eat that up, and we're going to get a third defense. Oh, they crit me. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh, that's fun. I, I would have been in a very, very good spot there, but, you know, the crits... They, 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 the crits, they're fine. You know, they're, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. Let me, let me see if I got the play right. Did they double into me? Did they double into me to secure the KO? Yes. Yes, they did. I believe they doubled into me if they're going for a Meteor Beam right now. So, yeah, um, that's that's fun. I, I was in a very good spot there, and now I am not. Ah, uh, okay. Shout out to, um... Shout out to... Shout out to crits. Because I would have been... <laughs> that's so annoying. Okay, I'm not going to get too salty about that, but... Nihila goes down. Uh, Dragapult isn't too scary now that I have three defense boosts. And, like, yeah, my Dynamax is almost over. But I think I can play around this effectively. And it depends on their item, if or, or on their move. If they're acrobatics, then I can definitely take a hit as long as I don't activate their policy or anything. Um, if they're policy. If they're fly, then I should be able to easily spore them. I'm actually just going to go go ahead and switch out my Amoongus here to ensure I survive the hit. We'll go for a Pyro Ball into the Cartana since we should outspeed. And I will actually send an Electivire to take this hit. Yeah. Because he should just go for another Max Airstream. As long as I connect this Pyro Ball, I'm fine. But I am notorious for bad luck. Let's see if, let's see if I can connect this Pyro Ball to win. Cartana are typically assault vests, so I don't expect to protect. I'm at plus three defense, so it's not like a um, a Cartana could knock me out. Or I guess uh, a Sacred Sword has pretty high potential to knock me out, to be honest. Since they ignore defense boosts. Yep. Let's see if I take it. I do not. All right, I might have messed this game up. Not really. No, it was it was a little bit out of my control at that point. So Cartana is very scary. Um, I can get in the Moltres here, though. Or even a Moongus wouldn't be... I think I have to go Moltres. I think I have to go Moltres, and I definitely have to target into the, um... Kartana. Dang it. I... I really got this. 
I really got the, the crappy end of the stick here, I think. Hmm. Moltres is very threatened by Kartana. I would go for a Fiery Wrath, but I think I'm more likely to get the KO if I don't. Because they're going to Dragon Darts, right? I think a Hurricane is a better option. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, let me Hurricane, and I'm also going to go for an Ice Punch. Dang it. Yeah, I have to double into Kartana. There's the Dragon Darts. Let's see if it puts me in range of Kartana, which it probably will. Yep, I'm definitely within range. And I'm going to lose my Electivire. Maybe they're not running Smart Strike. Maybe they maybe they don't have maybe they don't have a good item or move. <laughs> maybe I got real lucky here and they're just running a very bad set. Nope, that'll KO. Yeah, that um that max airstream crit kind of sealed the deal cuz otherwise I would have been able to stay in with Amoongus and uh and sleep the Dragapult that turn. So Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Let's go ahead and uh forfeit this match. That sucks, because I played really well up until the point where I uh, forgot that I needed to switch out my my uh, Cinderace to avoid getting KO'd there. Alright. It's whatever. We'll continue on. And we got a rare candy. It's like, hey kid. I know you just lost because of a crit, but here, here's a candy, man. Here's a candy. There you go. Feel better. By the way, guys, I might come back to streaming tonight. Um, I want to definitely do more in-game content streaming. like Because I've literally just been like streaming on and off for like a month now. I need to get back on like a constant schedule. And this is a Series 6 team. I think this is very clearly a Series 6 team. Um... We have no fake out, and we can't actually redirect the beat up. So that's concerning. I, I will say that's that's very concerning. Hmm. I think we do have a way of beating this, but it's not fun. Um. I think I have to lead Moltres here. As well as Feromosa. And my play is probably just to double into the Cobalion. In the back, I can bring the Amoongus pretty safely, I believe. And I also want to go with Tapu Fini. Since Tapu Fini deals with a couple of things in the back. But I have to be really careful with that with that uh, Rillaboom if I bring a Finny, you know? See what they lead off with. Yep, that's what I thought, considering I had no redirection. Now, what's nice here is I should be able to reliably double into the Cobalion. Assuming they go for the beat-up strategy. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll Dynamax Max Airstream. They're typically not Assault Vest. And I think even at plus six, because I'm presumably a pretty bulky Moltres, uh, I should be able to take the hit. Or not plus six, but at uh, plus four. Since they would likely go for like a max airstream or a max steel spike. And I am focus sash, so let's see what they go for. They either tailwind or they uh, beat up here. I would assume they beat up. And if they target into the um, end of the fair most, I'd probably just win. Okay. Alright. Let's see how much this does. I'm assuming we're going to do a solid amount. This guy's got really bad um, special defense. There's the Tailwind. They go for the max airstream. Probably into Feromosa.
Now I think at plus one I should outspeed. Let me let me open up the extreme speed app real quick. Cause I'm pretty sure we're timid, Fermosa. Extreme speed. Oh wow, okay, no, we just crit. No need. No need. Actually I should check the whimsic hot calc though. Faramosa versus Whimsicott. Whimsicott has a Tailwind. Faramosa's at plus one. We are slower than Whimsicott if it is timid, so that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, however, my Moltres is just in a position to win now, so that's fine. All right. There's the Tyranitar. Yeah, we're, we're in a pretty good spot here. I think what I do is I actually switch out my Pheromosa. And I'll go for a max Airstream here. And I'll get in the Tapu... Uh, Tapu Fini or Amoongus? I think Amoongus is actually better. Because I can spore the uh, Tyranitar. And I'm probably just going to get my Policy here. Assuming they Rock Slide. And rock Slide, while well, I'm Dynamax, shouldn't do... You know, a huge amount. And the sand damage after the after the max airstream will knock out the Whimsicott. Alright. Is they end up protecting the Tyranitar interesting? I'm not sure why they would go for that. They move last. Oh, they want to get rid of my Pheromos. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. I just didn't think they would expect me to stay in in any situation, though. But I suppose they definitely needed to uh, cover that option. This should just be a win for me, though. Alright. They dropped to the sand damage. Awesome. And Moltres is going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm drop to that very low 345 health. I'm sorry, Moltres. I'm sorry you have to go through this torment. 345 health, man. Oh, man. There's the Rillaboom. Okay, you are max Airstream food. <laughs> you are 100% max Airstream food. And I can go for the Spore into the, uh, into the Tyranitar pretty easily. Let's see if they're Assault Vest. Spore the T-Tar. These guys are usually weakness policy, so I'm pretty certain they're not running a Lumberry right now. As they protect, that's fine. Because I'm just going to get my weakness policy, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, that doesn't look like they're Assault Vest. I'm assuming they're like Miracle Seed. They rock slide. Thank you. That's a nice spicy uh, weakness policy boost we're going to be getting in there. Nice and spicy, like Moltres. And we don't flinch, so uh, Titar is going to be taking a nap here. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I think that's just game then. Because I always just... Okay, yeah. Okay, let's just disconnect there. Let's just disconnect. Man, I, I will tell you guys, it, I have never disconnected from a Pokemon game out of frustration. And, like, you see you see what happens to me. I get really unlucky. Like, in that first game, I got pretty unlucky there. But I, I would never disconnect because I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, what what is the point of disconnecting? What What is truly the point of disconnecting? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I'm losing. So I'm going to disconnect and make it so my opponent, who will get the points anyways, mind you, um, who will get the points anyways, will have to wait an extra game until they can see what their new rank is. Oh, no. You know, like, that's just... I just don't get it. Alright, let's get one more with this team. We're at the 19-minute mark in the video, so... That should be enough time for one more. Let's go with Clara's theme. Clara's theme's a bop. Sorry, I cut off there for a second. If you're watching at this point in the video, comment down below, Unga Bunga Disconnect. 
All right. Uh, Venusaur, Torkoal, Marowak, Terrakion, Comfe, Moltres. Hmm. I mean, I definitely want to cover for the Venusaur, for the Venusaur lead. Tapu Fini and Electivire don't seem too bad there, actually. That could be interesting. Cinderace doesn't seem bad at all. Uh, but neither does my own Moltres, so I might go Moltres here. And we'll go Cinderace. So no redirection for me. No redirection for me. We're going pure offense. And hopefully we can uh, see this Electivire do some work. And the reason I'm leading off with the um, Tapu Fini is to completely avoid the possibility of them going for a... Uh, <laughs> is to completely avoid for the possibility of them going for a Sleep Powder on lead. Moltres the Rampaging and Comfe. Okay, I have not seen that title ever. Like, ever. Honestly, I feel pretty comfortable with this lead. I am Assault Vest, so I could try... Hmm. I think it's time to Dynamax the Electivire, to be honest. I'm going to Calm Mind. And I'm going to Dynamax Max Hailstorm into the Moltres. Or maybe I max Quake into the into the um, ooh yeah okay hold on check this out. I'm gonna max Quake into the Comfe, hoping that they actually target into my Electivire right now, since Electivire can definitely take a hit, and then I get my Tapu Fini to plus two Special Defense, completely negating their uh their little boost from their weakness policy. I'm hoping that this is the right play. I, I might be making a big brain play. I might be making a pea brain play. Might be making a peepee -pee brain play, but hopefully this is the play, you know? It's certainly a play. Is they up to nasty plot, I think? Oh no, they're just slower. That's good info. That is that is good info. Which means I will be negating their um their weakness policy pretty much before it even goes off. Or before they're able to attack. Go for the Max Quake. As they actually decide not to go for the Draining Kiss. Interesting. Interesting. I can... I, I think I'm cool with that. I think I'm pretty cool with that. Did they Trick Room? They Max Airstream. What are they going for with this Comfe? Oh my god. Did they... What did they go for with the Comfe if if not if not the um the draining kiss play? As they charm, okay, I see where you're I see where you're going with this, okay. Calm mind up. I'm gonna try to be virtually unkillable. I also get some leftovers here. I will Calm Mind again, and I will also go for another Max Quake. What I'm going to do here is just become so specially defensive that they can't break through me with the Moltres. Now, they are faster than me here, but I should take the hit pretty well. The Max Airstream is going to be going into the Finny. Okay, yeah, we eat that up. And the second Calm Mind plus my other my other boost here should be enough to uh, ensure I wall this thing for a while. And I could actually switch out the Electivire to, main sh uh, to make sure I maintain its usefulness. Kind of wish I was Draining Kiss Finny now. Draining Kiss Finny would be so dirty here. Get my Calm Mind. And I might just Protect on this next turn to ensure I take as little damage as possible, you know? And I can actually go for a, um... I'm tempted to go for a third Max Quake, but I'm also tempted to go for a... 
max lightning. I think I get the most out of just quaking for a third time. Dang, I wish I brought the Amoongus now. It would have been so good. So Finny is at plus four right now, yeah? You go for the max airstream. That shouldn't knock me out. It should do a chunk, though. Yeah. Gonna get another special defense boost. And their Dynamax should run out this turn, which means my plus two Dazzling Gleam is gonna be doing a solid chunk of damage. They go for a charm. I'm actually pretty tempted just to wild charge despite the charm. Since Electivire is pretty hard to break, he's at plus 3 special defense plus an assault vest, so essentially, what is that? That is 1.5, how does it, is it 2.5 times 1.5? I think that's what it is. I don't know what the plus 3 boost is because I'm bad at this game, but it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, I can tell you that much. Alright, and they have no way of breaking Finny. They would have to go for Air Slash Flinches, pretty much. And they probably just want to go for uh, their Dark move at this point. So I'll go for a Dazzling Gleam. And I'll go for a Wild Charge into the Moltres. And hopefully that does enough. I'm likely going to activate their Berserk, but... I don't know. Dazzling Gleam should be doing a solid chunk. If I flinch, though, it's, it's pretty much over. <laughs> That'd be very annoying. Floor healing makes sense. Now, hopefully, I can take this hit. They go for a nasty plot. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna get two really powerful hits off. Well, powerful subjectively because you know Electivire is at almost minimum attack. All right, hopefully this does enough. <laughs> Type of Vinny, do you have this? Do you got this, bro? Awesome, we get the KO. Oh, it's beautiful. Outplayed, man. Outplayed by the uh, the Max Quake read. Or not the read, but the, the Max Quake positioning special defense boost play thing. You know? That thing that we did to wall out a Moltres, unless there was a crit. In which case, we lose. Now, my Electivire is still very tempting. Since he has plus three special defense, I actually kind of destroy this. Uh, I actually kind of destroy this whole team. I think my win con is going to be the Cinderace, and I might just sack the Finny here. I'll protect, assuming that they just go for like a Leaf Storm into the Finny. No, they forfeit. Awesome. <laughs> We got that win. Awesome. So, I mean, we got two wins and one loss today. The one loss I don't think was too deserved. Maybe I was maybe I was overreacting a little bit. Maybe maybe the Cartana would have swept me in every single reality there, but it's whatever. If you guys enjoyed this video, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like and then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I'm bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. Let's try to shoot for 200 likes. Answer the question of the day. Subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 19,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I might stream tonight. Keep an eye out for that. Link to my Twitch in the description down below. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.